Hello there beautiful people, I hope you are having a creative day. In this video I will teach you how to create this quick form in Wix Studio using CMS. It's a great way to collect user leads as well as uh, distribute your coupon codes in exchange of user data like email address. This is a great way to increase the conversion and sales. So uh, let's understand how to create this. Um, I'm going to create this in a website template right here. It's a new template. Um, so the first thing you will need is the CMS. So go to the CMS right here and you have to first add it in your website. Once you do that, you have to create a collection and start from scratch. You can name it anything you want. Alright, so in this coupon subscribers data set, I will collect the user data who has subscribed to this form. An important detail here is to change the privacy and permissions. So you can either set it to form submissions here or just go to the can add content, set it to anyone. And can view content to just admin and if you have some uh, site members, you can assign the site members as well. So for this one, I will uh, assign the admin only, right? So only I can see the email address, but anyone, any site visitor can submit it, right? So once you do that, save it. And now let's go back to the website and add a form. So go to the input right here and add a text input. So let's add an email input right here, like this. Let's design it a bit, change the type to email. You can collect any of the data right here. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna collect the email. I'm going to remove the field title and add the pattern validation. Let's decrease the width a bit. Let's also add a text here. Okay, now to collect the email address, we have to connect this input to the dataset. So add a dataset and choose your collection and hit create. Now, one another setting you have to change here, very important. Change the dataset mode from read to write. All right, if you don't do that, user won't be able to add the data in this uh, email form. And finally, connect the value to title. Okay, now users can input their email address and submit it. However, we still don't have the submit button. So in order to do that, we have to add a button as well. So go to the buttons and you can add anything you want. So I'm going to go with this one. Let's stack them together. Hold shift. Select both of them and stack. And finally, connect the click action to submit. Now, whenever your website visitors add their email address and hit the submit button, it will be sent to your uh, data set. One last thing we're going to do is add a success message and if required, a failure message. 
So in the success message, you can add anything you want. For example, you can add a link to any PDF or document, or you can, in this case, add the coupon code. Alright, so this is the success message. So whenever someone successfully submit their email address, this uh, coupon code will be shown. And if you are collecting, let's say, email address or something else, you can also add the failure uh, message in case people uh, do not add the right email address or phone number. You can also send people to any link you want like if you have some uh, downloadable document or file you can add that link or anything you want okay so this is now done um, let's see what it looks like on the live website All right, so as you can see, we now have the form here. Let's uh, try this and see if the email address goes to a Word data set. All right, so whenever I submit the email address, the users will see the coupon code and now they can apply it in the checkout. And if you go to your CMS in the back end, you will have the email address of all the users. Now you can also uh, collect the name or anything you want. You just have to create a field in your uh, CMS and connect it to any, the, any of the fields. So you can connect one more text and add it to the phone numbers or whatever you want. So this is how you create the quick form in Pixel Studio using CMS. It's a great way to collect user data and convert them into future buyers all right so a great tool to use and everyone should have it on their website so that's it for this video i hope you learned something thanks for watching